Welcome back to the Three Bourbon Years. This week we have Remus Seven in the house. Historically, uh, love hate relationship somewhat. Six was a scam. Six, Mitch is straight up confident that it was a straight up scam. And they took us for a ride. I ranted in that video. Five was one of the most nostalgic Bourbon Years heaven on earth that we've had. It's good whiskey. It was good. We still have uh, a few bottles of it. Yep. Unopened. I've got an unopened six on the shelf that I haven't opened because we haven't. Uh, yeah, it's disappointing. So, tell us about this MGP juice, Taylor. Well, we, we know it's from Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got 6% 2007 bourbon. So, again, that's the 16-year-old whiskey that's in there. That's a 21% rye. And we have 26% uh, 2013, 21% 2014, 26% 2013, and then 21% 2014. Okay, so, so it's... a lot of 10-year-old, a lot of 9-year-old. And then just a smidgen. And just uh, more than the droplet Oops. that they did last more year. More than the 2% <gasps> droplet that they put in last 2 year. 2% droplet was bull crap. Uh, but really, if you, if you think about <laughs> it, there's Literally. probably about like a half shot of 16 year old whiskey in here. So let's see how much it changes. I know. Oh it's, man, that's just going to be so I'm a hardcore hater on like. Why put the tincture in. All right, no, it's. Add 47 more dollars to it. You, you do realize that the whole point of the 6% is I so. I asked if you get it open. That's why I'm laughing right now. If you look at it and you're like. <laughs> He's gonna struggle with it. Yeah. The whole point of the 16, the 6% is so it justifies the $100. I'm already bad exactly. again. <laughs> I'm already bad. Up. And we haven't even opened this thing yet. <laughs> this is the kind of crap that I hate when it's like, <laughs> oh, we got some 16 year in here. I mean, you know, okay, but you got like 70% nine year. Right. Like, Save your rant for after you. <laughs> All right, you want? All right, I'll give it a shot. Give it a I'm not like, gonna comment, be, subscribe. I'm not gonna be. Yes, right. thank you. Sorry. Let's get nice and close for this one. Okay. Oh. AS, ASMR is that what that it's called? Right next to the can. The... I don't even know what that stands for, by the way. ASMR, audio sensual oh, no. massage no. reoccurrence. You're all wrong. And we're gonna go with that. <laughs> all right. That's more Mitch. Yes. Yes, please. God. The baby, the bourbon flows into the glass and it tastes, it tastes good. Do you hear that you sound? The bourbon goes into the glass and it tastes very good. <laughs> That's, That's ASMR. stupid videos. Should we do bourbon ASMR? Let's, like our yeah, next let's start doing ASMR, man. All right. Um, I'm gonna lie. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I have very, very low expectations. All right. That's good. You can only be happy. Then. Exactly. Oh, you would hope. You guys, this is the wildest thing I've learned tonight. What's that? The master distiller's name is Ian Sturzman. His last name is Sturzman. That sounds made up. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. That's a fake name. There's no way. Ian Sturzman with a giant wooden paddle stirring the one tincture of 16 year old. <laughs> That's a fake mustache. <laughs> All right. How dare you? All right, Remus Seven. We're gonna give it a real shot. We're not gonna be dicks here. Maybe. Okay. I'm just so you know, to be a dick. I'm, I, 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 I'm gonna be honest. No. Five was eighty bucks, which blew our socks off. I forgot. Six about that. was a hundred dollars, which can kiss my ass. Five was eighty yeah. yeah, dollars. Seven is also a hundred dollars. We we actually paid one twenty five for this, right? 125 bucks. The sticker to prove it is right there. Plus tax. There you go, folks. It's like 127 or something like that with tax. I only sent them 125, so. <laughs> okay. He's helping the channel out. All right. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you here. We should shout out to Ryan, by the way. Yeah, we'll give a shout out to Ryan. For finding yeah, this bottle. You. We're not going to give away his personal life, but no. Ryan's a buddy who works with a local uh, distributor, and mm -hmm. he's always looking out for us, and, hey, I got this bottle, hey, I got that bottle, so Ryan, Good guy. you are the champ. Thank you, man. Thank you for hooking us up with a Great lot job. of different bottles, and, um, yeah, it takes guys like that to just keep a channel like this going, yeah. right? Because we're, just, we're you churning out connects. content. You got to have connects. Yeah. We need to be able to so Ryan, try things that are hard to get. Cheers, buddy. Yourself. Which is awesome that he doesn't love bourbon because he, <laughs> he passes he's on ready to sell it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's not good at all, Ryan. Nope, we don't like it. it. Um, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys smell on it? I mean, it's like it smells young. It's um, it doesn't smell uh, young. Uh, I wouldn't say. I I would say it smells malty and corny, like any other. Okay, yeah. I mean, I, like there isn't. I've been so spoiled with. I know there isn't a high like uh, overwhelming presence of. Oh, you know, like what is that? I don't. It's just very mellow. I the uh, nose. Here's the thing. Corn. I I hear a hundred dollar bottle, and I smell sixty dollar bottle. 
That's that's my problem. You're being jaded. But yes. after our last video, we don't have any idea what we're talking. Do not about. even do not even bring up the last. I video. smell thirty five dollar bottle. <laughs> Even as if far, it's a three hundred. As far as I'm bottle, concerned, we did, uh, we did a Knob Creek blind nine through eighteen. A Knob nine beats everything, apparently. Knob uh, nine was just go ahead and watch it. Go after this video. <clears throat> what else are you pulling out? I'm getting a lot of MGP corn, and that's not no, exciting. Yeah. I'm getting corn. I'm getting some vanilla uh, malt. This reminds me of chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Dare I say some smoke wagon? That's not very exciting. It's very reminiscent of a uncut unfiltered. It is actually but very this is only similar. Proof. And there's uncut filters that I will, we like. Oh, so dang. I should have brought my six. I was going to say. Sweet, sweet nose. I should have brought my Remus six because I would be curious I to. I yeah, want to trade it though. <laughs> I wouldn't open it. All right. It was kind of underwhelming. Let's, let's, dive, let's dive in. It's very, uh, I mean, it is oily. <clears throat> Got some good legs, but not a lot going on. Let's give it a try. Cheers. All right, cheers. <laughs> Everything's up front. Everything's up front. There's that's, no that's, finish on that's it. It's not worth hundred dollars. There's no finish on it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hundred dollars, hundred twenty-five dollars. Oh my god. <clears throat> I keep forgetting. There's no finish on it. Did you get a finish on it? Yeah, it's still there. It's just like a sweet lingering like honey water. It's literally But I use the same the same terminology when we talk about um literally honey water. Ancient ancient age. Ancient ancient age. All right, so we're comparing a hundred twenty-five dollar bottle to, to a, like twenty dollar one seven five. Uh this uh, I, okay. I I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> I'm gonna try it again. Um, I feel like I'm just hating on a brand as right now. As far as what I'm pulling out, it's very very generic. There's a hint of vanilla. There's a hint of honey. Maybe a slight oaky presence. Maybe there's it's very faint. I mean, you're hitting all the things. No I smoke say. at all. There's no smoky. You know, just there's not a lot of barrel char. To be there's honest. no char. No peanut salts finish of like bitterness. There's none of that. I mean, um, when it comes down to it, it is good. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and, and tell you it's disgusting, but but there's better things out there. For it's the just it, it's just for 125. So typical, like. We just, I, I would much prefer an Om 9 than this. Like, much prefer. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. Well, think about, okay, no, pause. And that's I'm gonna throw something, $70 I'm gonna throw something wild at you. You're gonna take a $125 gamble, right? Why not throw it at a Midwinter Night's Dram that's gonna be that's at least finished, finished in something. In a port wine barrel or some sort of wine something used barrel. Doing something different, yeah. Guess what? I'll take that gamble, and we're gonna have some crazy finish that we haven't ever experienced before. Yeah, that's the true. fact that we're getting Ross and Squibb MGP corn basic bourbon for $125 honestly makes me not want to ever buy a Remus ever again. Okay, so if we didn't have the channel and we weren't making content, I don't think we would have actually bought this bottle. Right, because I actually of the last agree. One. So yep. at this point, we're kind of buying these for the content. Um, we can get into it and try by deny, which I think. Are let's we do ready? it. So just I'm ready. Yeah, let's, go into, let's go into it. Well, Mitch right. is going last because that's right. going to be a rant. Yeah, so I can go first. Uh, go I'm gonna rant. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I'm with. I can't say I'm with you. I don't know what you guys are saying yet. No. Yeah. You go. I'm a deny. Um, I was a deny on six. I believe. I don't know. I might have been a try. Don't know. You're, I, I don't really see many of these at bars, so I don't really think you can try these very often. Um, but I'm gonna deny it. it's just standard whiskey. Uh, there's really not much to it, and for $125, I don't ever want to say this is just a standard whiskey that has honey, small amount of oak, vanilla, a lot of corn maltiness up front, uh, not a lot of finish. It's thin. It's not really thick at all. No, so I, don't, no. I don't know what they're offering at this point. What what does it do right? To me, to explain me to me what it does right. I like I just I'm not sure why they're throwing in the two percent and the six percent. 
yeah. I don't know, like 2% in last year on the It's to justify the price tag. It's That's just, what I was going to say. They're, they're doing that so they can go. <laughs> so they don't totally piss everybody $100. off. $100. At, at least there's a reason to buy it because if they didn't have that on there and it was just the 20 Nobody would buy it. Everyone would be like, and why am I paying $100, $125 for a nine year? And so we were going to we were gonna touch on this too, and I'm sure you're going to touch on it. Yeah. So I don't want to steal your, your thunder here, but... Um, are they just taking what they don't give away in the single barrel We talked about this before you arrived. Other, other distilleries and going, let's just take all the stuff we're not selling and put it together and then make our own brand and sell it. So and that's, that's Taylor and my theory. Mitch would so maybe I'll, agree. I'll, I'll right, pass right. it off to you. No, you yeah, yeah. talk about it. Okay, yeah. That, no, that I'm a deny. Yeah. Plain and simple, I'm a deny. Yeah. This is honestly asinine at this point. Taylor and I, Mitch was on his way here, five minutes behind us, and we were like... Why are they doing a in this bottle a half of a shot of the age stuff, right? Technically, technically, right. Yep. obviously in a bigger vat, we understand it's yeah. Bigger, but like I mean, they're, they're blending <clears throat> a lot of it in. So to me, it appears as if, and we know some people in the world of distilling that tell tell us like, no, MGP sends us this list of what we can order, right? Mm. Each company orders what they need for the year. Is there leftover product that they're going? How can we? Get rid of it. Turn and burn. We don't. They don't want to sit on all this stock. They have so much stock. They don't want to sit on it, right? So, what can we do to get rid of it and They're use it up and make money? Stock. Well, let's just throw it all in a Remus Repeal Reserve. We'll have a whole story behind it. Cool bottle, all these things. Hundred twenty-five dollar, hundred dollar price tag on it, and then go. No, it's got the old stuff. It's got. It's got old stuff. It's got sixteen years. Why is it so vastly different every year? Yeah, right? he's still blending it up. I mean, he's taking all the bad stuff and putting it all together. Yeah, but for sure. But I'm saying like so he's, he's being handcuffed a little bit and what he can do. I don't know. I, I doubt he has any say in you know, what I'm you know there's yeah. powers that that be that it's just a money thing yeah. at that point. Yeah. So I'm down on Remus. Um we'll buy I, the next we'll buy the next one to try it and make we sure. probably will. Yeah. But I'm not we'll looking. waiting for our video I'm before. Definitely you pull not the holding my breath. I'm yeah. not holding my breath on that one. So why not just why not just take your take your chances on a smoke wagon on cut unfiltered? Right. Taste I'd, I'd rather do a that lot of them the taste identical to this, yep. and they're <clears throat> for thirty thirty dollars. Exactly. Forty dollars cheaper. Yep. So might as well just. Or a Penelope. Penelope too. Penelope is way better. All right. Yeah. Um. I mean, we just kind of brought up. Uh, I I don't even want to get into it because this this entire brand MGP in general. You've heard it from our channel multiple times. They're a giant pile of. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes down to it, they're in They do have some good stuff though because we've tasted some good stuff. Do you know what their best stuff is? They're people who finish their stuff in other things. Like Penelope. Other companies buying their other barrels. Other companies yeah. buying their barrels and finishing it and doing experimental things with it are my favorite with MGP. I just think we live in a world now where MGP is boring. <laughs> um, I think you can't just pour a tiny little drop of old whiskey into average whiskey and charge it a hundred dollar price tag. And I don't think this is Bible. I don't think this markets to anyone. I don't think, um, strong I, words. From I don't think anyone should really be buying this. I, I like learn from our channel. We, uh, <laughs> well, you don't know anything, no. We've proved it in our last. I years. mean, uh, the the fact is, we've lost our credibility and are not pre blind. <laughs> but at the same time, MGP is MGP juice, and uh, <laughs> the fact of the matter is, we've lost our credibility. So, so you you're denied. Are you denied? I'm a hundred percent a denied. Please don't waste your money on this. Please spend your money on even. Midwinters has lost its uh, taste the last couple years. It just, it just <laughs> even spend your money there. Just um, what at, can you buy? At, at least <laughs> I, I don't mean, buy even any whiskey. Even Knob Creek 18. I mean, like I don't uh, buy a Knob 12. Buy two Knob 12s instead of this. I don't just spend your money elsewhere. Um, Remus MGP is you know pretty standard at this point. It's not very tasteful. It doesn't really offer anything. Um, Penelope at least finishes this stuff. This is a uh, $60 bottle of booze right here. Yeah, no, I don't even bucks. know if it's 60. 50? I, Knob 9 is $35 and it beats this. I know. I mean, I know. we just wild. learned that in our last video. I think they could, they should be charging 90 bucks for it. Yeah, I mean. 90 bucks. It's a special release. It's got, I, it's got, I get it has. They're talking about the age on it. At yeah. least. They're talking, they're, they're giving information. It's just, 100 proof. I, 
I think $90. It's got some transparency, which is palatable. nice. Much it just put, put some more old juice in this. Maybe save some of your old juice instead of just selling it to everyone. Well, same some people, same some people, summit for this. So some but. people think that they're they're sort of, I think I saw this in the Mash and Drum, he talked about this, like maybe they're saving some up for the 10 year anniversary and doing a Remus 10 with probably a bunch of high age stuff again. But the fact that they already came up with a five year, and again, maybe that was like sort of an anniversary for them, right? right. They said, hey, let's do something crazy for they five years. They didn't really say anything though, did they? Yeah, there wasn't anything about it. So I don't know, but th there's some rumor, I mm. think just from the Whiskey Tube channel or Whiskey Tube, um, you know, world that says maybe 10 year or the 10 year anniversary is going to be something right. big, but who knows? We'll buy it like suckers we are. Well, we're going to be buying them every year for you guys, but just as of now, five is uh, really good. Six, uh, would you guys say this is better than six? I think six may be better than this. I feel like six probably to is me, better. six is better than yeah. this. Yeah. But I, I was so long ago. And I know. That, I don't know. We, we could do an AB at some point. I, I wish I would have brought it to We should try uh, five, side six, by and side. seven together. Yeah, can, one of us has to open a five. I'll open a five. Oh, man. All right. Well. <laughs> well, uh, sorry to you folks at MGP, but um, this one didn't really hit home for us at the Bourbon Ears. Um, all you watching, I'd maybe save your money, spend it elsewhere. Uh, buy, buy yourself a Cal Calumet 16. Um, even save your money for like a smoke wagon, uncut unfiltered, or... Uh, Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. Buy one of those. Those are all amazing. That's um, MGP. It is, but it, they're actually it's finishing finished. it in like yep. uh, cognac, right? Yeah. Or whatever. Armagnac? Armagnac? I don't even I remember. Know. I don't remember. But um, Armagnac, Sherry, and Cognac. There you go. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, there's going to be a video popping up right here. Please click it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you guys. Have you tried Remus 7? Are we being harsh? Um, I don't know. MGP <laughs> is just every freaking where now. I just, I need to see it finished. Penelope is doing it right. So, uh, maybe we're wrong, but maybe we're right. I don't know. But, uh, we'll see you in the next video. All for one and one for all. Cheers. Cheers.